welcome back to Jen's Hangout. Today, we're hanging out. What are we doing, you ask? We're going to be putting this on our eyes. That's right. It is That Time of Year by Gourmand Girls and the beautiful debutante Xenia and Riri. So that was a collaboration with all of those beautiful ladies. So I have my face all done and ready to go. And my eyes are primed with the Gerard Cosmetics. And this is the palette. She be stunning. Absolutely stunning. She's gorgeous. So we're going to slap her on my eyes. If that sounds horrible. But anyway, we're going to put her on our eyes. And girl needs to wash some brushes. That's my head. I need to wash some brushes. Anyways, so. Let's get in here. I'm going to go in here with a C color. And... I mean, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. Icicle is just screaming my name. Like, screaming my name. Um, I've had this palette for a while. I kind of kept it on wraps. I didn't do an un unboxing for it. Because I really and truly just wanted to do um, a look with it. And I just hadn't had a chance to do it. Um, things have been busy. So, anywho, let's get in here and get this, get this on my face. Cause she's gorgeous. I don't know if I want to go with greens or if I want to go on the purple edge of things. Or if I want to just like keep it kind of toned down and then really pop it with the icicle. So like I said, that icicle is like really calling my name. I do know one thing I want to do before I start anything else. I'm going to find my brush. Find my brush, girl, because I'm going to slap this on my face. That's the one I want, too. Why can I never find that brush? There, there. We'll use this one. We'll go ahead and use this one. And I'm going to take Twinkling Lights, right? And the feels, both of them. They're these gorgeous, you can use them as toppers. But I'm going to go into them both. Right? Because this stunning. Right? And I'm going to just add them. I don't have like big, huge, major highlight on today. I have, um... Just some Lunar Beauty on. Because, you know, why not? But one thing that I've been, I've been watching a lot of Wayne Goss because, you know, he's fantastic and we love him. And his biggest trick is use the same highlight on your eyes that you're going to use on your face. Well, what better than to take it out of your eyeshadow palette, right? So, there we go. Now we beam to the gods, right? Yes, we like that. We like it a lot. Okay. So, oh, those are gorgeous. They're so pretty. So I think I'm going to kind of do a little bit more of a muted look and then really pop it with that icicle because that icicle is just calling my name today. So I'm going to go in with Warm and Toasty, which is this beautiful brown, chocolatey brown color up in the corner. This one right here. It's so pretty. And I don't need a coda in my brush. No. That's what makes the eyes itch. And we're just going to... I do circle windshield wiper motions because, you know, we have the aged hooded eye. 
so we don't want to stretch out those lids any more than is necessary right today I went a little bit more full coverage on the foundation because your girls feel in a little patchy on the skin uh, and leave it to Duvet's place to cover all of that yuckiness, you know, and just blank slate. So that's what I did. Um, and you can adjust your coverage with the Duvet's place. I love that, you know, you can still get a good full coverage without going in all ham. So I'm really loving that Duvet's place. It's wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And then I did the cream contour with the Juvia Stick Foundation. Um, and a little darker color. Which, that was nice. I got that on a steal. It was on a clearance rack at Ulta. And I got it for $3.99. I mean, come on. Can't get a better deal than that. So I'm just really just trying to kind of blow this out a bit, you know, and really blend it out because like I said, I just want it to be my transition. And then now I'm going to find a better tape or brush. Oh, I really need, I have so many brushes, so many brushes. So many, I really, I've been doing this massive declutter. I need to declutter some brushes. I decluttered a, a bunch of brushes. I really did. Um, but I need to go through. And I'm going to go in Cherry's Jubilee, which is this kind of ready rust color. It's really beautiful. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to do this under my eye. I'm going to do this so simple today. I just have to go to the post office and run a couple errands. You know, and so I'm just going to put this under my eye. And I love the Gamond Girls formula. Thank you, Debbie, for introducing me to them. She is amazing. She got me my first friend mail ever. She's fabulous. She, you guys really, I will link um, all three of these ladies and the Gourmand Girls down below. I'm just blending this excess into the brown just so it's all blended. Um, but Debbie gave me my first friend mail ever and it was all Gourmand Girls and I tell ya, I am hooked. This is a wonderful product. Wonderful stuff. I'm just kind of, I'm going to blend in that out. Wonderful stuff. It's probably going to look like I have pink eye. <laughs> oh, well. I do this a lot with reds. I don't know why. I end up putting them under my eye. I do know why, but I do. You know, I mean, these greens are gorgeous, and I see everybody doing looks with them. And like I said, they're gorgeous. They really are so vibrant. Uh, I have never, um, I have one, I have the exquisite palette back there that I need to try. <coughs> Still. Um. 
but everything that I have tried from Gourmand Girls is so beautifully pigmented, easy to work with, and just wonderful stuff. I'm just going to take this one. I'm not going to add any product to it. I just want to blend, you know, make sure that that's all a blendy, blendy, blend. You know, we didn't want any harshness. Okay, now, what else do I want to do? I kind of want to add another color, but I don't at the same time, if that makes sense. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tiny Estee Lauder brush that I've had literally like 25 years. It's probably the oldest brush I have in my collection. I have two of them. And I love them. They're the perfect size for my eyes. And I'm going to take Nostalgia, which is this kind of shimmery um, brown. And I'm just going to go over the edge right here just to give it a bit of a sheen. Because why the heck not? You know, why not? Why not? Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Ay, ay, ay. I'm such a dork. I really am. At least I can laugh at myself, right? That's a good thing. Isn't that a good thing? It should be a good thing. I would think it's a good thing. Anywho, where, oh where is a flat Lexi brush when I need her or an Alamar? Well, I'll take a Juno. That works. Okay, now comes the pièce de résistance. Right? I'm going to go in with Icicle. I'm not going to cut the crease. I'm not going to do anything, but I'm going to go all over my lid. I'm just going to slap it on. She's so beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. Cota's done this. She's having a rough day because we're windy. And she don't like the wind. This color reminds me a lot of the, I think it's called Berlin. In the Passport palette. And the Lurella from Lurella. Passport palette from Lurella. And I think the shade is called Berlin. I'd have to pull it out too. But it reminds me a lot of that color. And it is a stunning color. I love that color. And this is kind of a creamy formula. This is gorgeous. Just want to pack it all over my eye. It's beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so beautiful and pretty. And remember with her eyes, you go above the crease. Above the crease. When I'm making a maze, girl. I dug into that color. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm like, I'm gonna have it. This man get on my face. I'm so silly. But, you know. I absolutely adore this color. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. It definitely has the shift. For sure. It is just stunning. I love that. Love it so much. Really is gorgeous. And I ain't wasting none of it. No, not a heavy neat. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It must get on my face. Must, it must, it must, it must. But yeah, it really and truly does remind me of that Berlin. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's Berlin from the Lurella palette. 
it has this has a few different reflect this has kind of a more of a pinky reflect to it than that Berlin color does but it's so beautiful I mean even if they were identical I wouldn't care they are so beautiful so so beautiful Yeah, this one definitely has more of a pinky purple shift than that Berlin one does, but still stunning. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous, and I love it. I love that it's on my face. Yes, we like it a lot. Okay, now we need... Highlight. I dug into that. Woo. Okay, so now we're going to go into the feels and twinkly lights because that's what we put on our face. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and that's what we're going to put here. Lighten up the brow. And in here. Brighten up that inner corner. These are so, I mean, this palette is just so beautiful. I don't know how you can't be happy looking at it. It's just gorgeous. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay, now don't forget the giveaway that is going on right now on my channel, the 500 subscriber giveaway um, that we have going on. Here we go. Wow, that came out. That is so... God, look at that. I don't... The camera is just not doing that justice it is so gorgeous anyway that that dual chromey shift that is just beautiful anyway sorry i'm obsessed with that color i love this this is a stunning palette it really is uh great job ladies great job um Anyway, I will be right back with liner and I'm just going to do mascara today since I'm just running errands and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I will be right back. Okay, so for my eyeliner, I used the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner in Moonlight Purple. I don't think you can get this anymore, but this is one of my favorites, which is sad because I really love that one. Mascara, I have like five different kinds of mascara on my face <laughs> and then for my lips I used the gourmand girls in Nikki's nude beautiful color I really and it's a really nice formula um so that's what I have on my face and I hope you guys love it blessings to you all I'll see you guys later bye